So I've selected my external hard drive here, my F drive here. Let's show you how to quickly navigate between these folders here. If you use your arrow keys, left and right and up and down. First of all, up and down obviously chooses files up and down. It'll, it'll go from drive to drive to folder to folder by, as you're going up and down. To expand a folder, you hit the right arrow key and it opens it up. To collapse a folder, you hit the left arrow key and it collapses it. So let's find a certain folder here. We're going to arrow to the right, arrow down, and to my lonely night folder here, arrow right to drop down, open that folder, go down to my red camera footage, arrow down, arrow right, arrow down, and there we go. We're getting into the red footage. I'm going to go all the way into this folder here, arrow down, and and there we go. There's all the media thumbnail of all the video clips on this camera right here. Now, if I hit arrow up, arrow up, it goes back to the red folder. Oh, let's go to card one and arrow left, arrow down, arrow right, arrow down, arrow right, and there are all my thumbnails on the on card two. So it brings up these thumbnails and you're able to look at the footage. So right now this is reading the card off the hard drive. It has not been imported yet, but let's say we want to import card one here. I'm going to arrow right, arrow down, and look at my footage. So here's all my footage. And you get this little thumbnail size right down here. If you grab this and drag it to the right, it increases thumbnail size. And you make this is that big and then you can scroll it down. I kind of scroll it down so you can see all the footage here. So if I want to import this footage here, what I can do is I can select everything by clicking and dragging, or you can hit Control A and select everything. And then you're going to right click and say import, and that will import it into Premiere. If I go back to my import window, you'll notice everything has been imported. And this is actually in list view. And we're going to go over this in the project window episode next, but you got list view and icon view down here to show it as a list or show it as icons. The media browser by default is in icon view and you can also switch it down here. But I'm actually going to undo that right now because uh, we want to show you kind of how to organize. This is card number one. So maybe we want to do the same organization. So I'm going to right click in here and do new bin and it brings up a new bin or a folder and asking what I want to call. I'm just going to call this right now card one and hit enter just name that folder card one and i've got this selected so now with this folder selected i go to the media browser select the card that i want to import now while i'm in here i can select the clips i want to import if i want to import individual clips i can hold down control or command on a mac and select individual clips or if you want to select a range of clips you can select let's select i uh, deselected there by clicking down there and by the way the shortcut for it is Control shift a to deselect if you want to select all it's Control a to deselect all Control shift a so if i select the first one here and i hold and i want to select a range of clips i can hold down shift it goes from left to right back down here left to right so i'm going to cl click here hold down shift and click here and it selects that range from here down to there down to there and now if you want to import, uh, I'm just going to do all right now. So control A to select all, right click, import. Then I go back to my project folder and here's the folder that I had selected. Arrow this down and it has all that media uh, loaded into that card. So one more time. So the shortcut for creating a no new folder, by the way, is control or command forward slash and I'll create a new folder. The forward slash is right next to the right shift key and then you can just type in a name, card two. I'm going to select this folder, go to my media browser, select card two. I'm going to hit control A to select all my footage, or I can hold down control and select individual clips that I want. But let's do control A, select all the footage, right click, import. And as we go back to our project window, you'll notice card two, we arrow down and it's got the footage for card two there. A couple more things to cover in the media browser here. First of all, if we go inside of a folder here, I'm going to arrow down, arrow right to collapse, arrow right to open up, arrow down, arrow right, arrow down, there we go. As we go into this folder on the DS, from the DSLR footage, if we hit the list view here, some of these files here are video files and some of them are still images. There's some still images, some JPEGs on here, as well as video files. Icon right there. This is I use VLC as my core engine to play video files back, so it shows a VLC icon as a video icon. Here it shows a JPEG, the Windows JPEG icon, to show that this is a JPEG. So if you want to import footage off this, and say we just want to grab the movie files or just the JPEG files. If you go up here to this little funnel thing right here, 
this will narrow down the type of files that it, this that the media browser is viewing. Let's click on this funnel and it'll bring up and right now it's got check marked by default all supported files. So it shows everything that it can import right now. But if you just want to import, let's say you just want to import the JPEGs off this card. I'm going to go down and check mark JPEG. And right now it just shows the JPEGs. Now I hit the icon mode and these are all my JPEGs that I have on this card. If I go up to my funnel, click that and we go to we go to QuickTime Movie it'll bring up just the QuickTime movies on this folder. If I go here and uncheck check QuickTime movie, it'll just show it'll show QuickTime movies, but notice I click on this, it has also JPEGs uh, selected. So I'm going to uncheck the JPEGs and now we've got just the movie files. So if this is on all supported files and you want to see just movies, you can pull this down and uh, the DSLR shoots uh, QuickTime movies, so I'm going to say QuickTime movies and it shows just the movies and not the JPEGs. And if I go to a red folder, you'll notice this is grayed out. And the reason why it's grayed out because it's only got one type of supported media inside that folder. If there were JPEGs in there as well, this would no longer be grayed out and you could be able to go in and say JPEGs or, or MOVs. And if it only has one file type, this will be grayed out because it doesn't have an option to narrow it down. And the last thing I want to cover is this ingest button in the media browser. This ingest button is directly connected to the one that we showed you earlier. If you go under project settings and click here, this is basically the exact same thing as it is here. You can click on your settings and change the ingest settings and you can check mark ingest. Why this is really important inside the media browser, let's say we go on the internet and we download some media. We download some JPEGs maybe and we download some music. Where does it save it on your computer when you go to the, the internet browser and you download the clips? It saves it in the download folder on your computer. It does not save it on the hard drive where all your media is being collected. It saves it under the download folder. So I'm going to click on this folder. So if we go to our download folder here and look at where it downloads these files, I've got some JPEGs that I've downloaded from uh, the internet. I've got some uh, music that I've opened that I've downloaded from the internet as well. And when I import them to my project, if I move from this computer and go to another computer and take my external hard drive and move to a different computer, those files will be disconnected. They will be what's called offline and I won't be able to access them. It'll tell me, hey, these files are offline. Well, if I'm importing something that's from my download folder, I want to check mark ingest. I want to check mark ingest. First of all, you could move it to the folder that you're going to be editing out of first and then import it, but that's a little extra step there. You want to make sure everything that you're importing gets moved to a folder that you're working. I'm going to import it from my download folder, so I'm going to check mark ingest, go to the settings tab here, and we're on copy right now. I'm going to go under the primary destination and we're going to choose a location. I'm going to go to my hard drive, I'm going to go to the folder that I'm working out of, and we'll call this downloaded media. So I'm going to select that folder there and anything that I've downloaded and I import will now be transferred to that spot there. Well, anything that I ingest right now from anywhere will be transferred to that spot. So right now I just have it check marked just for the download folder. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to my C drive, go to my users, go to my name, go down to downloads. And by the way, I've got this check marked right here on uh, QuickTime Movies. I'm going to go all supported files and bring all the supported files and then grab the ones that I want. I'm going to grab those three photos and my music and I'm going to right click and say import. It'll open up Media Encoder and those files are going to be transferred. I can start editing if I want to immediately. Let me go to import and I can start editing these things immediately. If we go under Media Encoder here, everything is going to be transferred. It transferred pretty quick because those are JPEGs and MP3s. Everything has been transferred. Let's take a look to make sure. Here they are under my download folder, but it's no longer referencing these. It has, let's see if it has transferred it. Go under my bullet, go under my folder here. There's my downloaded media folder. Double click on that. And yes, it has transferred everything in here. And now Premiere is referencing those files from the new location there instead of my download folder. So if now if I unplug this hard drive and I move to a different system, everything will be there. I'm going to go into media browser and uncheck ingest. If I'm just importing directly from the card and everything's already been organized on my hard drive, on my external hard drive, I'm set and good to go. But if I'm downloading things, I want to check mark the ingest button and it will move it into those folders. The next four episodes, I'm going to be covering the project window, the source window, the timeline or sequence window, and the program window.